the human brain may be able to hold as much information in its memory as is contained on the entire Internet, new research suggests. Researchers discovered that, unlike a classical computer that codes information as zeros and ones, a brain cell uses 26 different ways to code its bits. They calculated that the brain could store one petabyte, or a quadrillion bytes, of information. This is a real bombshell in the field of neuroscience, Terry Sajowski, a biologist at the Salk Institute in La Jolla, California, said in a statement. Our new measurements of the brain's memory capacity increase conservative estimates by a factor of 10. What's more, the human brain can store this mind-boggling amount of information while sipping just enough power to run a dim light bulb. By contrast, a computer with the same memory and processing power would require one gigawatt of power, or basically a whole nuclear power station to run one computer that does what our computer does with 20 watts said study co-author Tom Bartle, a neuroscientist at the Salk Institute. In particular, the team wanted to take a closer look at the hippocampus, a brain region that plays a key role in learning and short-term memory. To untangle the mysteries of the mind, the research team took a teensy slice of a rat's hippocampus, placed it in embalming fluid, then sliced it thinly with an extremely sharp diamond knife a process akin to slicing an orange, Bartle said. Though a rat's brain is not identical to a human brain, the basic anatomical features and function of synapses are very similar across all mammals. The team then embedded the thin tissue into plastic, looked at it under a microscope and created digital images. Next, researchers spent one year tracing, with pen and paper, every type of cell they saw. After all that effort, the team had traced all the cells in the sample, a staggeringly tiny volume of tissue. The new findings also shed light on how the brain stores information while remaining fairly active. The fact that most neurons don't fire in response to incoming signals, but the body is highly precise in translating those signals into the physical structures, explains in part why the brain is more efficient than a computer. Most of its heavy lifters are not doing anything most of the time. However, even if the average brain cell is inactive 80% of the time, that still doesn't explain why a computer requires 50 million times more energy to do the same tasks as a human brain. The other part of the story might have to do with how biochemistry works compared to how electrons work in a computer. Computers are using electrons to do the calculations and electrons flowing in a wire make a lot of heat, and that heat is wasted energy, Bartle said. Biochemical pathways may simply be much more efficient, he added.